Fifty years ago, the uh, seminal paper, The Integrated Control Concept, was published by Vern Stern at UC Riverside, uh, Dr. Vandenbosch, Dr. Hagen, and Dr. Smith at UC Berkeley. Uh, this collaborative paper from the University of California uh, campuses was instrumental it's in, in, in forming the foundation of our integrated pest management uh, approach. Um, it was published obviously in 1959, but it was the late 50s that the um, uh, problems of the introduction of synthetic chemicals was beginning to be realized. Discovered and developed after World War II, widely utilized worldwide in the 1950s, the panacea of solving pest problems quickly became apparent that it was a false promise and that a lot of new problems arose with the control of, of the broad spectrum control of insects. Problems such as resurgence of secondary pests, human health issues, uh, environmental issues, uh, uh, just a whole lot of new problems that arose uh, with this. So their, their paper basically went through those problems and said if you used an integrated control approach, then a lot of these problems could be managed. I was very fortunate of the four, uh, Ray Smith, uh, Ken Hagen, Vern Stern, and Robert Vandenbosch, I was able to work with three of those in the early part of my career. This group had talents in two areas. They could communicate with uh, academics. They could communicate very well with academics internationally, but they also had the ability to communicate with farmers. And, and the concepts they really uh, brought into play, uh, the, uh, certainly economic thresholds, sampling methods were all very important. But I think probably one of the, the most uh, important was the idea of supervised control. And that was a whole new concept in the 50s where you would hire an entomologist to actually contract with a farmer on monitoring pests in the field, to actually monitor and detect levels and present that information to the farmer. And hopefully if there were thresholds established or biological control, that person could indicate to the farmer whether or not they needed to spray. They did, uh, in this paper, um, they dealt primarily in alfalfa uh, and management of spotted alfalfa aphid. And interestingly, they found a, a relatively broad spectrum insecticide. It was Cystox, uh, but they could use a low rate, so it became what is known as a selective material. It was more toxic to the pests than it was to the biocontrol agents. And that idea of integrating a selective insecticide uh, spray with a biocontrol agent became an important concept that they also introduced. When, an, when a homeowner or a non-ag person comes and, and asks you, you know, what the pest is or what they can do about it, they want to know what they can do right then. But the IPM concept is a sustainable program. So what I try to do with, with a question like that is to say, this is what you have, this is what you can do, and this is what you can do to stop the problem from happening or from reoccurring.